Looking for some creative outlets during your therapy sessions? Well, follow me as I review a book that I love to introduce to more of my creative and artistic kiddos. So let's dive right into the book that I want to share with you today. This is 250 Brief Creative Practical Art Therapy Technique Book. Um, as, I, as you can see, this is a well-loved book with all its sticky notes. Um, I got this Oh gosh, probably before the pandemic hit. Yeah, it should be before the pandemic hit and I have been using it throughout. I've used it for my virtual sessions. I've used it for my in-person sessions and I absolutely love this book. As you can see, it's got 250 art therapy technique ideas, which are great. You don't need to be trained in art therapy to do this. This is art therapy techniques. So these are things that we can implement as I am not an art therapist. So it's a good book to implement more of that creative techniques through your sessions um, and kind of work through some ideas, which is really good. Um, I find that sometimes it's really easy to have kids open up and even adults when you're doing kind of a project like this. And it's just got so many range of ideas that are really awesome for any age, for any um, person that you could think that might be interested in it. So a lot of the areas that this book covers is mindfulness, self-awareness, self-esteem and self-compassion, connections, relationships, as well as change, problem solving, anxiety, stress, just CBD um, techniques, as well as that thought, emotion, and behavior, as well as like just stimulating and thought provoking activities as well. So quite a bit of range, like I said earlier, there's quite a bit of range in materials. So you can find things that are very low key material wise, maybe just some pencils and versus like more materials and stuff like that. Some of my favorite techniques in this was having people create a maze that represents their life and placing themselves on the maze and kind of describing some of the terrain and the obstacles that might be in their maze and stuff like that. That I have done in person. I've done it virtual using my art app. I've done that so many different ways with so many different people and it's been really um, interesting to see. And something that I want to show you about this book that I really like is every single activity that they are showing offers an example of how they implement it. So I'm going to show one here. Let's see if we can see it. This is the Who Am I? This one is more materials. This is more like mag magazine based. As you can see, they show a picture of the um, activity, which is kind of cool to see as well. But this one, how it breaks it down is it's going to have your material list your procedure, so how you're going to do it, questions for exploration, which are really cool because sometimes, you know, this is a great idea, but maybe you don't have any questions to kind of further the discussion. Just give some great ideas to kind of throw out there. And then it has the client response. So this one has a whole vignette of what a client did and how they reacted to it, which is awesome. And it has it for every single um, activity, which I think is really cool because it gives you an idea of how they can respond. It gives you maybe an idea when kids are stumped on it. Maybe they need more direction of what you can do. I just think it really helps with that whole direction of knowing what you want to do and what you can maybe see and the impact that it may have. So yes, this is a book that I absolutely recommend for anyone who's interested in doing more art technique therapy with their clients. I wish I was um, a certified art therapist. I think it would be so cool, but this gives me some of that outlet that gives me way more range during my sessions. I have so many amazing artistic kids who just want a little bit of challenge and it really brings our session to the next level, I feel. And we can kind of keep the drawings and reflect back, which is really cool as well, or something that they take home to keep with them if it's more stuff that they can utilize past our session. I am aware that this author also created another book with like, I believe 250 more <laughs> art therapy techniques. I don't have it yet. I'm saving up to get it. I'm really excited to look at that one too, but I definitely recommend this first version and maybe even the second one. I bet it's just as good as the first, if not better. I can't wait to see what it has to offer, but if you are definitely looking for something that would be great for in-person, virtual or whatnot, and you love bringing that artistic element, I really highly recommend this book. So thanks again for joining me for another review. 
Like I've said before, if you like my content, please like and subscribe below. And if you have books that you're interested in or genres that you're interested in, please drop them in the comments below or if you have questions on this book as well. Um, I'm always here to answer. Thank you so much. Bye.